this last example, okay, and the reason I, I'm hitting this last example is because this in this example, so we talked a lot, right, about how uh, air conditioning is so important. We've got the uh, UPS workers fighting for air conditioning. Everyone's talking about how air conditioning, air conditioning, air conditioning. Even in some workers in air-conditioned settings are getting too hot. McDonald's workers in L.A. walked off the job this summer as the air-conditioned kitchens were overwhelmed by the sweltering heat outside. This is a quote. There is an air conditioner in every part of the store, but the thermostat in the kitchen still showed it was over 100 degrees, said Maria Rodriguez, who has worked at the same McDonald's on Crenshaw Boulevard in L.A. for 20 years, but walked out on July 21, sacrificing a day of pay. It's been hot before, but never like this summer. I felt terrible, like I could pass out or faint at any moment. The owner of the store said in a statement, we understand that there's an uncomfortable heat wave in L.A., which is why we're even more focused on ensuring the safety of our employees inside our restaurants. Our air conditioning is functioning properly at this location. That's all. Which is why which is why we are offering them each a hot lunch (laughs) free on the house. Everyone gets a burger. They all got double cheeseburgers. They sent them home. They said, here, here, Piping hot trouble. cheeseburgers. I'm just saying that, 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 Why don't that you take a fry. Get, t- grab yourself a fry. I think that that's so interesting. I mean, that that's what's that the thing is. You could fight for one thing and everyone could be like, oh, God, they got that. Finally, their their world is better. They they all their problems have gone away. Air conditioning is still having trouble battling when the outdoor temperature is around 100 degrees Fahrenheit. It might not be enough, especially again, the the workers in the meatpacking industry uh, facility, if you're dealing with 180 degree gear uh, uh, or at least whatever uh, sanitization equipment, having air conditioning might not be enough. It just might not be enough. Right air conditioner might not be. Or there's also air conditioner sizes and the vent flows. And I mean, yeah, you got to be able to combat that. I'm sure if they had a bigger unit and had more. Maybe and 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 vents it depends. in it the depends. back. But yeah, but then I mean, at that part, at that point, and think about it: every McDonald's in LA, in, uh, in California, or in LA at that point. I mean, that's something that could be an issue for the power grid. I mean, there could be knock-on effects to to increase the it's air true. conditioning. Yeah, uh, to that degree that you actually could keep a hot McDonald's kitchen or, cool. I guess we need regulation. Is over hundred. You have bad. this type of oven that can put out. I don't know. It's like a. BTU or something, or whatever yeah. the those well, the thermal BT- units are. Yeah, yeah, right. Well, for the, oh, the it, BTU, maybe, maybe BTU. there's like if it's X hot outside, you can't have this much energy running inside. I well, mean, I don't or know. or you just don't have workers work. I mean, at, at, we are getting to the point in this country where that might actually have to be the laws that are enacted. If you have temperatures of a certain amount outdoors, and you know that indoors the heat is going to be higher than that outdoor temperature. You might just have to call it. I mean, I know that no one wants to hear this because we live in this society where everything is about exponential growth and you know everything could go on forever and there's no limits to anything. There might be a limit here. As climate change increases and the people's health are at risk, there might come a point where the legislation needs to be, if it's 110 degrees outside and indoors, the temperature reaches 115, that's it. The you this company this operation can no longer function and its workers will continue to be paid and everyone else has to just and you just have to send them home because well that's that would just make one sense of those that, I mean regardless of uh, whether it's hot outside or whatever if the inside temperatures if what you're exposed to for any period of time is breaking a hundred I would even say in the nineties like but definitely breaking a hundred yeah there there needs to be some regulation that that's not. Well, you would think, right? But the Biden administration, the, the Democrats, who are supposed to be the saviors, who are supposed to be the good guys, it's been two years and they have yet to draft legislation to address any of this. So, um, and, and we know the Republicans aren't going to do it because Texas, leader again in, in this situation, is like, screw everybody. They can, they can figure it out for themselves. We can't hurt these job creators. Uh, people just got to pass out. You got to pass out. Manager sits in their air conditioned office away from anything that is overheating or too hot. Uh, you know, because that's just the way it is, you know, that's maybe so you should have just been born in a better, you know, better uh, rung of, of the ladder. 